Hello students, once again welcome to a virtual class of social science. Today we will discuss some of the multiple choice questions from the rise of nationalism in Europe and the nationalism in India. Okay? So today's class is completely based on uh, solving the questions of multiple choice question and extracts based question. Okay? So just have a look on your screen. This is MCQ. The first question is. The term absolutist is referred to your options are monarchical government, B abstract theory, C a vision, D none of these. Okay? So you have to tell the correct answer here, the choice has been given to you. So what would be the correct answer? So the answer would be monarchical government. Okay? Now the second question is when and who prepared a series of four prints visualizing a world made up of democratic and social republics. Okay? So your options are A 1804 Napoleon B 1815 Duke Metternich, C 1848 Frederick Sirio, then D none of these. So the correct answer for this question would be 1848 Frederick Sirio. Okay? Now your third question is what do the saints angels and Christ symbolize in the utopian vision. Okay? So, your options are equality among people, B fraternity among nations, C freedom of nations, D resentment against nations. So, the choice, four choices have been given to you, you have to choose the correct one. And here the correct answer is fraternity among nations. Okay? Now the fourth question, what did the Napoleonic code of 1804 spell out? Okay? So your options are equality before law, B right to property, C wiping out privileges by birth, D all of the above. So the four options have been given to you. So you have to choose the correct one. So what would be the answer? The answer would be D all of the above. Okay? The Napoleonic code of 1804 spell out equality before law, right to property, wiping out privileges by birth. So all these answers are correct. So therefore you will take D all of the above. Now the next question is what seemed to outweigh the advantages of the administrative change in Europe? Your options are A forced conscription into French armies, B increased prices, C movement and exchange of goods, D laws that were not uniform. So your options have been given to you. The correct answer for this would be forced conscription into French armies. Okay? Now the next question is when did Napoleon invade Italy? Now, your options are A. 1821 B. 1905 C. 1797 D. 1795 So, your correct answer is 1797. Okay? Now let's see the next question. What territories 
did the Habsburg Empire rule over? And your options are A. Austria B. Romania C. Hungary D. Both A and C So, what would be the correct answer here? My dear students, the correct answer is both A and C. That is your option is D. The correct option is D. Fine. Now, let us move to the next question. In revolutionary France, who were granted exclusive right to vote? Okay. I am repeating this question. In revolutionary France, who were granted exclusive rights to vote? Your options are the first one A all women, B property owning men, C property owning women, D all men. So, here your correct answer would be property owning men. Okay? As you all know my dear students earlier the right to vote was not given to everyone. Okay. So, only a few section of people got the right to vote. Today, it is not like that. Today, everyone whether rich, poor, educated or uneducated, whosoever it may be, everyone has a right to vote, is not it? So, let us move to the next question that is ninth question. A merchant travelling from Hamburg to Nuremberg in the first half of the 19th century had to pass through the how many custom barriers to sell his goods. Okay? So, your options are A 20, B 10, C 9, D 11. So, your correct option would be 11 that is option D. Okay? Now, let us move to the next question. What was viewed as obstacle to economic change and growth by new commercial classes? A. Absence of railways B. Limited suffrage C. Custom duties D. Reduced status of woman So, your answer would be C. Custom duties okay? So, the correct option will be C that is custom duties. Understood? Now, let us move to the next question that is what led to the abolishing of the tariff barriers in the German speaking regions of Europe and the reduction of currencies? Your options are A. Formation of the custom union B. Formation of traditional institutions C. Abolition of feudalism D. State power Now here what would be the correct answer? The option A is the correct answer. Formation of the customs union. Okay? Now, let us move to the next question that is why was the treaty of Vienna drawn up in 1815? Okay? I am repeating this question once more. Why was the treaty of Vienna drawn up in 1850? Your options are A to abolish tariff barriers, to restore the monarchies, C to divide the German confederation of 39 states, D none of these. Okay? So, here the correct answer would be to restore the monarchies. Okay? Now, let us move to the next question. Why was the kingdom of Netherlands which included Belgium? set up in the north? Your options are A to control censorship laws, B to curb government activities, C to prevent French expansion, D both A and B. Okay? So, here what would be the correct answer? The correct answer is C to prevent French expansion. Okay? Now, let us move to the next question. 
when were the conservatives regime set up okay when were the conservatives regimes set up so your options are a 1830 b 1820 c 1815 d 1832 so the correct answer is 1850 that is the option number c option c is the correct answer 1815 now let's move to the next question what major issue was criticized against by the liberal nationalist okay what major issue was criticized against by the liberal nationalist your options are a censorship laws to control the press b preservation of the church c a modern army d efficient bureaucracy now here we you have to choose the correct answer and the correct answer is a that is censorship laws to control the press okay 16 is let's move to the next question that is 16th question name the italian revolutionary from genoa okay so your options are a metternich b john gottfried c Joseph Mazzini D none of these here the correct option is Joseph Mazzini is the correct answer now let's move to the next question that is 17th question who said when france sneezes the rest of europe catches cold this is a quotation given by one of the person so you have to choose the correct uh, option here your options are a lord baron b t s eliot c metternich d jesse now here what would be the correct option the correct option is metternich okay c metternich is the correct answer of this question now let's move to the next question what marked greece as an independent nation okay so your here your options are a treaty of constant constantinople 1832 b treaty of vienna 1815 c treaty of versailles 1871 d none of these so here the correct answer is a that is treaty of constantinople 1832 okay now let's move to the next question how did karol kurpensky celebrate the national struggle okay so here your options are operas a operas you know opera a loud voice song which is what we call as opera operas b plays c books d poetry so you have to choose the correct answer here and here the correct answer for the 19 question is a that is operas okay now let's move to the next question what was the result of polish being used as the medium of instruction for preaching in all church gatherings in late 18th century so here your options are a priests and bishops were jailed b followers were tortured c preachers were forced to preach in russian d followers were sent to siberia okay so here what would be the correct answer my dear students the correct answer is a that is priests and bishops were jailed okay now let's move to the next question what did weavers in silesia in 1845 
revolt against okay the weavers in silesia they revolted for what what was the reason behind it so your options are a bad quality raw material b insufficient supply of raw material c contractors who didn't pay them enough or d none of these so you have to choose the correct answer here so your your answer is contractors who didn't pay them enough that is option c okay now let's move to the next question 22 women were admitted in the frankfurt parliament convent in the church of saint paul but only as your options are a opposition b waitresses c guards d observers okay so in the frankfurt parliament the women were allowed okay so as what so options have been given to you so what would be the correct answer the correct answer is d observers okay now let's move to the next question who were the junkers who were the junkers your options are a soldiers b large land owners c aristocracy d weavers okay so what would be the correct answer here b is the correct answer it means lad land owners were the junkers okay now let's move to the next question what was young italy okay what was young italy now your options are a vision of italy b secret society c national anthem of italy d none of these so here what would be the correct answer the correct answer is secret society b option b is the correct answer secret society now let's move to the next question who was proclaimed the king of united italy in 1861 okay i am repeating this question once more who was proclaimed the king of united italy in 1861 your options are giuseppe garibaldi b victor emmanuel ii c giuseppe mazzini d kevo so what would be the correct answer here the correct answer is victor emmanuel second that is option b is the correct answer okay victor emmanuel second now let's move to the next question name the act which resulted in the formation of the united kingdom of great britain okay you have to tell the what which uh, means which act has led to the formation of united kingdom of great britain so here your options are a the act of union 1707 b tax reform act 1784 c commutation act 1784 d none of these so what would be the correct answer my dear students the correct answer is the act of union 1707 that is option a okay now let's move to the next question what was the famous expedition carried out by giuseppe garibaldi called your options are a young europe in bern b young italy in marseilles c expedition of the thousand to south italy d none of these okay so 
the correct answer is option C expedition of the thousand to south Italy ok. Now let us move to the next question. Now this multiple choice question is from the chapter nationalism in India. Let us see the first question is when did Mahatma Gandhi return to India from South Africa? Your options are A 1913, B 1919, C 1915, D 1921. So the correct answer is 1915 ok. Now let us move to the next question. What did the Rollet Act 1919 presume? Here your options are A detention of political prisoners without trial, B forced recruitment in the army, C forced manual labor, D equal pay for equal work. So here the correct option is detention of political prisoners without trial. Now let us move to the next question. What did Mahatma Gandhi in his book Hind Swaraj declare? Your options are A. British ruled India because the latter was militarily weak. B. British ruled India because Indians cooperated with them. C. British ruled India because they got international support. D. None of these. So here the B option is correct because British ruled India because Indians cooperated with them ok. Now let us move to the next question that is what did the term picket refer to? So your options are A stealing from shops, B import of goods, C protest by blocking shop in entrances, D boycott of clothes and goods. So here the correct answer is C, it means protest by blocking shop entrances. Now next question, fifth, who led the peasants in Avad? So your options are A, Mahatma Gandhi, B, Jawaharlal Nehru, C, Baba Ramchandra, D, none of these. So here the correct answer is Baba Ramchandra. Now let us move to the next question. What did the term beggar mean? Your options are A. Payment of wages B. High rents demanded by landlords C. Labor without payment D. None of these. So the correct option is labor without payment. Okay. Now seventh question. What was the effect of the non-cooperation movement on the plantation workers in Assam? Your options are a. They left the plantation and headed home. B. They went on strike. C. They destroyed the plantations. D. None of these. Okay. So the correct answer is option A. They left the plantations and headed home. Let us move to the next question. What was the main problem with the Simon Commission? Your options are A. It was an all British commission. B. It was formed in Britain. C. It was set up in response to the nationalist movement. D. All of the above. So here the correct answer is it was an all British commission. Means in this Simon commission all the members were Britishes and not even a single person was not an Indian. So that is why people resented. The Indians resented Simon commission. Okay. Now the next question is where was Gandhi's ashram located? Your options are A. Dandi, B. Sabarmati, C. Allahabad, D. Nagpur. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is B. Sabarmati. Okay. Now let us move to the next question. What led to the civil disobedience movement? Option A. Arrival of the Simon Commission. B. Working at the farm without payments. C. Violation of salt tax by Gandhi. D. Fall in demand for agricultural goods. So here the correct answer is C. Violation of salt tax by Gandhi. Question number 11. Who were the Sanatanis? Okay. Who were Sanatanis? Here your options are A. Saints. B. Dalits. C. High caste Hindus. D. None of these. Here the correct answer is high caste Hindus. 
Now let us move to the next question. Who organized the Dalits into the depressed classes association? A. Mahatma Gandhi, B. Subhash Chandra Bose, C. Jawaharlal Nehru, D. B. R. Ambedkar. So your correct option is D. B. R. Ambedkar. Now let us move to the next question. What moved Abhindranath Tagore to paint the famous image of Bharat Mata? Your options are A. Civil Disobedience Movement, D. Swadeshi Movement, C. Quit India Movement, D. All of these. The correct on, uh, option is B. That is Swadeshi Movement. Now let us move to the next question. Who wrote the Vande Matram? The options are A. Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, B. Ramidranath Tagore, C. Abhi, Abhinandranath Tagore, D. Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Your correct answer is a. Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. Now, 15th question Who was Sir Mohammed Iqbal? Your options are A. Congress President, B. President of the Muslim League 1930, C. Gandhiji's devout disciple, D. None of these. Your options are given. The correct answer is B. President of the Muslim League 1930. So, my dear student, that is all in today's uh, MCQ question. I would like to tell you that just have a snapshot. I have given you some extract based question on the basis of that some questions have been asked to you. So kindly do it on your own. My dear students, as you all know that your examination is in the month of May or June. I want you people to work hard, make better use of this time because I believe that practice makes man perfect and there is no any other mantra for success other than hard work. Okay? So work hard, give your best and do not waste your time, utilize your time nicely. So this is Deepa Sadha signing off, thank you and Jai Hind.